Uh, well, guys, let me test the volume. Is it okay? Too soft? Not too soft. I can't tell. Anymore. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, today will be the 2% macro pad build from Keyhive. It was an original group buy run a couple years, a couple years, not too long ago. From, I think it was like Spaceman or, it was a group buy, yeah. And seems like they got some, they're still selling it. I got this from Keyhive the same time I got my uh, Maypad. If you guys want to see that, that's in my VODs on my YouTube channel. Today I'm just going to be using some spare cream switches I have lying around because cream and milk thought that would just <laughs> fit nicely. Um, just a lot of soldering work today. Um, gonna have to solder the mic pro micro to the u uh, to the blah, blah, blah. sorry can't speak to the pcb do the headers and then they'll just go in this underside put the switches in and then solder the switches well we actually have to solder the switch before the pro micro uh, this build is going to be a little bit more complicated because we don't have no max. Oh shoot, it's expired milk. Hello, I'm here. Hello, hello, how are you, expired milk? Yeah, just giving the breakdown. Uh, I'm going to loop these switches now because pretty stock. I'm doing good, A eh, expired milk. How has your day been? Hey, my, my day's been good. My day's been good. Uh, same old, same old. <laughs> yeah, how has your day been? What have you been up to? Uh, yeah, oops, shoot, it's okay. Actually, yeah, there is, I think there is a bit of loop on the legs. I went out today to see some Christmas lights. Oh, wow, that sounds exciting. Oh yeah, I forgot this, yeah. There's like a place near my neighborhood. It's like Diker Heights. Those, it's like rich people houses and their Christmas decorations are pretty ham. I think they all try to outdo each other. <laughs> it's pretty neat. I'm glad you got to go catch some Christmas lights. That sounds, that sounds fun. LMAO. No, for real. It's literally, it's literally rich people neighborhood. <laughs> the creams. Yes. I think, um, I think expired milk remembered the stock versus lube cream sounds last time. So, for sure, I'm not going to let them be stuck. Just no way, Jose. Nail art brush? Yes, milk remembers. Because, like I said last time, I just take, I just take random brushes that my cousin doesn't need anymore. Because <laughs> I don't want to pay, like, four bucks for a switch. Two loop switches. Already did. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see. I maybe I I guess I'm not sure if I over lube or not, but I think I kind of. I have some scuffed Crayola brush that I used to lube. <laughs> Free brushes are the best brushes. <laughs> uh, 
Ja. Just gotta make it a quick passeroni. I don't think the rushes hit different for you. <laughs> for real expired milk. Yeah. Uh, so I went ahead and I looked up. Um, the, what was the recommended build guide? Because there's a lot of pins on the Pro Micro, and we don't use that much of it. Cause it's just, just uh, two switches. There no, there's no need for all those other input pins. So, um, I think what I'm gonna do is, I guess I'll tell you guys later. But I'm just gonna like use, oh, spring. I'm just going to use some, um, it's probably going to break off the headers and not use the whole thing. There's no point in soldering all of them anyways, and it proves to be a little bit more difficult since, um, like I said, no mill max. So that means, um, the soldering is going to be a little bit more difficult as I'm going to have to solder while everything's here. The pro micro is the Arduino thing, right? No, no, yeah, you're right. Pro Michael is this little bad boy right here. So this is where you flash the little software. The PCB is just almost kind of like, mm, provides the electrical padding. So then it can correctly hook up to the Pro Michael. So you don't have to worry about that part. But you are correct. Pro Michael is dark. Oh, uh, was this the one that was looped? Yes. No, this is just awkward. Yeah. Oh, no. God damn it. Hmm. This build is going to be epic? Oh. <laughs> I don't know about that, Melvin. <laughs> epic is... <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be epic or not, but it is going to be a very fun build. I Did you get some stickers for it? No, I did not. I'm sorry. I couldn't find any stickers. Also, I was thinking I could print my own, but... And <laughs> the pog Damn, dude. That's the first time I was hit with the anti-pog. I'm not going to lie to you, Milk. JK, no, it's okay. I do agree, anti pog. And my printer has been out of ink for years. And I really. <laughs> I really don't want to get ink for it. Also, I don't have, like, that type of. Uh, paper? I got a black and white printer. I have a color printer that has no ink, so. I mean, you're still in a better situation than I am. move the legs a little bit. Ah, oh, man, the focus is kind of shitty. But ink is expensive. It sure is. That's why I'm leaving my... And I didn't need... Uh, I didn't need to use my printer at home. Only for, like, uh, high school. But once I hit college, I had, like, school printing. So I, I seriously never needed to use ink at home. And now, like, I, I'm done with school. I just, I just don't have ink. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. Do you have to pay to use school printers? So there's, like, a certain amount of quota you could use. It was, for us, it was kind of, like, 500 pages for free, and then they would start charging you, like, cent 10 cents or something. I never used... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I never use like my full quota ever. I mean, so yeah. Butterfinger <laughs> sticks a little bit more than the just the perspective. Come on, <laughs> yo, mate. I'm I'm kind of like blind. I normally lube over here, but I gotta like lube here so you guys can see it. 
uh, yeah, uh, rooftop housing, just so when it hits, when the upstroke, China, it really does a lot. Let's hear this. I can't even show you the second switch for comparison because I cracked it open. Definitely no spring crunch. No spring crunch from the stock springs. So that is good. I am very happy for that. Um, I'm expecting the soldering to be a little bit janky just because, um, it's, it's, it's kind of a pretty small space to work on. Really wish I had my mill max and it wasn't thrown out. Hot times two. <laughs> the cube switches are really neat. I like them. I truly do. But. That budget side of me just can't let go of those gat milky yellows. <laughs> uh, yeah, I looped down over here too because this flat side of it just makes contact. So I'm trying to do that. Do you guys loop switches the same way? I know people bag, bag loop springs. I just. I just don't like doing that. It's probably more even than whatever the hell I'm doing. Because sometimes it's just like... Sometimes I just feel like whatever. Oh, please focus. And so... I prefer to loom the spring myself. Yeah, me too. I just have a lot more control of it. And I can like kind of tell and see. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Bag loop gets my hand tired? Really? <laughs> That's funny. I mean, I, it's just... It's <laughs> Hello, typo, typo central? <laughs> might wanna... <laughs> might wanna check via. <laughs> or whatever software. My fingers are lagging. Don't worry about it, Milk. We all, we all got those finger laggy days. All right, yeah, autofocus really, I gotta like lift it up so you guys don't see like a half blurred image, which really sucks. <laughs> but it will be okay after this, I think. A little bit dusty in my room. Probably won't catch Fran again because it's so late. Fran's probably sleeping. Fran is dead. Oh, oh dear. For real though. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know Rip Friend. Yeah, I uploaded, uploaded story time number two on the YouTube channel. It's two chapters, so it's like half an hour long. But I kind of, kind of scuffed because it was really cold in my house. BRB, you gotta go do some family thing. All right, Milk, have a good one. Good luck with your family thing. Hopefully you're back before I'm done building. <laughs> I'm just joking. Alright. Yeah. Just, uh, oh, shit. Just focus this. Actually, really difficult to, yeah. Yep, but 
this this little divot here is where the top housing I mean top part of the stem on the upstroke when you push down the key pops back up and when it hits this top housing it also has upstroke sound so when you move the top part of the housing it kind of dampens that sort of noise which I personally dig okay that's that um, going to need to wash this Wash this later. Okay, and this. Whoopsie daisy. So we're gonna need this. Just going to put this away. Okay. Perhaps we can zoom on out. Boobed creams pod. <laughs> yep. Real nice. Real nice. Give us some foam thing. Um, gonna use it. <laughs> um, but I'm not really. That looks 3D printed. You can kind of really see the the padding of like the 3D filament nozzle, the nozzle that prints it. Uh, it's I don't know how well this helps or anything, but we shall see. Okay. So first things first. Oh, I need my breadboard. That's what I was missing. Hold on. Small PCB, yep. Probably the smallest PCB. Got 2% milk by Spaceman. Um, there is room for a little RGB LED down here. This, these three things. But, um... Mine did not come with uh, RGB LED. I think it depends on like what kit you buy. But damn, these little headers are really in here. Or put this away last time. But okay, first off, all right. I'm looking at the guide. And if we look at it this way, it's just going to be these three pins, then the last one, and then these two pins, two, four, and then number six and eight. And I know it connects on this way. So we're not gonna need all of these headers. So what I'm gonna do is, huh, I think for this, I can just break this off and they're supposed to be soldered in like this Oops. breadboard right yeah 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 this is a little breadboard so for this one oops, sorry if you look up 2% build it's like in the github so I need one, two, three, and the last one. So I kind of need a yoink all of those away. And for this one, it's easier because I can just leave eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's hope it was. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Right, I'm just going to solder that. You know what? Do I even? 
don't really even need this top. Oof. Okay. Oof. I hate breaking those because sometimes they're really inaccurate. Alright, so now I just have this. Get this. I was hoping to just yoink out some stuff. Oop. Yoink, yoink, yoink. <laughs> okay, expired mode. Oh man, the autofocus is truly, truly, oh my gosh. Jeez. Alright, I don't know if you guys see, but I basically just. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah. And I figured I might just yoink these pins out and see how they go. I know I need um, these three and the last one, so everything in between can kind of just go. Sorry, here comes my old nasty pliers. I'll just see if... Oh, oh wow, they just come right out. These little... God damn. These little pins. Okay, I just... I'm seriously just going to do that. And I need three, and then I don't need this one. CEO of Yoink. <laughs> I try my best. Yeah, and it comes right off, honestly. Um, they're not glued or anything in there. More just pressure. Fit. And then I just need that last one, I do believe. So if I do this, it kind of just keeps the structural integrity. It just still has that plastic piece to hang on to. I think it would just be better. Of course, you don't need to do any of this. You could just uh, solder everything. Don't screw it up, LMAO. Oh, please, expired milk. Wait, let me check. I'm pretty sure the last... Yeah, yeah, it's just the last one. Bro, don't need to scare me like that. Don't screw it up. <laughs> I just might, knowing how scuffed. Don't make it expired. <laughs> and then this is also two in the middle, basically. So I'm just going to do that. You don't believe me, Milk? You got to have more trust that I can do it. All right, these are all spare pieces. What I'm really concerned with is this portion. Oh, so we have, I trust you with milk. So as you can see, it's just two here and then two here. It's following the diagram that um, the creator provided. And then this is this way, which is three up here and then one down there three here and then one there all right so i'm just gonna solder this i guess uh, put this in make sure it's lined up two three four that's four Oh jeez. <laughs> One over. Okay. All right, guys. All right. All right. Oh shoot! I still messed this up. This is. Three, four, six, eight. It's looking good so far, yeah. I gotta just shift this one down one. Then just down one. Okay. Don't worry, you got this. Hey, thank you very much, Mel. I do appreciate your kind, kind, kind efforts. Okay. Just gonna compare it to the picture, make sure I got it right. Yep, three, one. 
then three, four, skip two, six, uh, seven, eight. Why do I keep saying six, eight? You want to just let me talk like that? Okay. And then afterwards, we'll worry about that. But um, until then, let's solder this bad boy in. And did it. And these are going to go south facing. This actually north facing. Might be north facing. Okay, you know what? It doesn't even freaking matter right now. What matters is it's time for um, fume extractor. ASMR guys. Okay. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Make sure things are plugged in. Cranking my soldering iron to 320 sounds good. The ASMR poggers the best part. Okay. Thanks. Milk is a bit too excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just gonna hold this down. Let's find the soldering boy. <laughs> the best part. Alright, at like 30 minute mark, we start soldering. Just let me know if it's too loud or anything. But even if it is too loud, there's nothing I can do. Blast it? Jeez. <laughs> oh, Can I crank up my shutter now just a little bit? Doesn't seem like it's. Okay, now we're going. Now we're going. Okay, this is fitting more than. Cool joint over here. What's going on, guys? Hmm. Cool joint. Maybe my soldering iron's too fast. This one's fine. I think I'm just not hitting the contact pins. Yeah, this is definitely a cold joint, this first one. But everything else seems to flow fine. Um, I'm just going to do the rest and get back to it. I think I should dwell too long on right that. Thank you. 
whole side seems kind of doesn't want to oh that was fine interesting oh no that's fine too huh you know what I'm just gonna go for it This definitely looks like a cold joint. Just clumped up and it's not going into the no, I... oh, that's good now. Jeez. Bless. Okay. Just go ahead and fix these. Do, 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 do. Looks good. Hey. Everyone things back in business. I just gotta fix this first one. And I think it'll be a okay. Yep. Oh. Looks like it could just be a little bit more. Not my finest work, guys. <laughs> okay. Looks good to me. Okay, alrighty. Poggers. Ooh, this shit's hot. <laughs> this shit not done that. This is how it looks. Our janky janky version. Just kept this side because... If I just left the one pin down here, it kind of would have been hard to align it. So just, I think probably yanking out those legs was best, best thing I could have done. Oh, I did not blow this. <laughs> Poggers and hot. Thank you. I always appreciate your enthusiasm. All right. Just got to make sure. So if it's in this way. So it fits in. Don't you flash the thing first or at the end? Yeah, I could flash it first. Normally, you should flash it first before, um, cause if uh, it's not good, <laughs> you desoldered it, and Lord knows how terrible it is to desolder this. Just trying to match it up. See how it looks like. When I do flash it, I need to um, short the reset and ground pins on this. So, uh, reset and ground right here. These two. I'm going to do that right now, actually. Uh, you don't need to see the process. Okay. Lit up. Um, go open QMK toolbox. I want this to be VIA compatible, so I simply download the VIA hex file from Can I Use VIA and stored it. I'm just gonna do auto flash. So once it detects my flashing of this, it will automatically go. Here's your chip writing. Okay, awesome. Yep, and that's it. Now it says that uh, it's done, it's complete. And now if I go into VIA, it should. I had to unplug my other computer. But, oh, yes, yes, okay. I'm going to close. Don't you flash a thing first at the end? Oh, you're so smart. Oh, okay. Oh, their milk. Oh, it's okay. Not, not, nothing too crazy. Um, let me open Via for you guys. Now you can see that this is customizable through Via, and we will come back to this. Um, I mean, it's <laughs> just too buttoned. <laughs> so I was thinking maybe we could program drink milk. It would just keep typing out drink milk. <laughs> 
What do you guys, what do you think of that expired milk? <laughs> All right, let me turn off the, uh, okay, so flashing is good. This is not borked. I can now solder this bad boy on. Beep. Oh yeah, so explaining my situation, right? So if you had Milmax, you would have obviously Milmax way in the beginning before these boys and then you can literally solder this um put it into here and then you get to snap your switches in but because i don't have milmax we have to we have to solder the switches first and then put this on and then solder that inside this housing so definitely if you guys were to build um one of these I, I think um, doing it the Milmax way is definitely a lot easier. And you get to, you know, like, um, swap out your switches anytime. Because, you know, there's people in the hobby. Oh, sorry. Gotta reach for my tube. Some people like to, to, like, switch things up. So, I want to get one so bad. But they're sold out of cases. Yeah, I saw that. I actually checked the other day. I was like, oh, I was thinking of just getting one i guess for like future giveaways or just whatever but yeah i also saw that they were sold out so this is gonna be a little sketchy bit having to solder in here because um everything's already really small but um uh, yeah so this goes on like this i believe in the pictures it does show the 40 percent the space with the USB notch up there. Just going to check, make sure, yes it does. So then that means this, you can't mount it this way. You're gonna have to flip it when you mount it. So it'll go in like this. Oof. All right. And then I'm gonna pop in my switches. So something like that, <laughs> and then some like this. So what are they? Yeah, I can't believe I popped it in with south facing LEDs and I said north facing LEDs. That's why I was confused. I was kind of confusing myself. <laughs> okay, and this is in there. Also this, yeah, it's not that secure in there on its own. Like I'm trying to kind of push this in so now we're gonna have to solder these switches then then put this pro micro on top and then we're done so today is just super short build <laughs> that's why i also decided i would just loop the switches here too because why the hell not um okay this should be relatively easier but uh oh jeez Okay, <laughs> gotta secure something. I'm gonna secure one end of this. Ooh, ASMR, ASMR, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, that looks good. Also, gonna go ahead and just knock that leg down too. Oh man, these pins are terrible. <laughs> okay. All right, just tacked one leg each down, so hold it. Because it's kind of imbalanced, it protrudes. So it's I mean, oh, I could do, I could have done that. Applied some more pressure. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Spider milk, what is up with that? Uh, is there no bottom piece? Nope. It's just, it's basically just pinned by 
solder. It's not really that, like, tight on here either. I guess this 3D printer case acts as, like, the PCB plate, in a way. <laughs> Dang, I would foam it and deck it out for no reason. Well, yeah, there was that one piece of foam, but, um, perhaps we can foam this. So I'm just trying to check the solder joints. It's kind of hard to see, I don't know. Is it just me? Am I blind? Uh, perhaps I am. Yeah, you know, this digital zoom literally does nothing for you guys. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna... Alright. I'm gonna do that. I just don't have enough hands, and I wish... I did. Okay. Yeah, what is... What is going on? Is this just not hot enough? That thing wants to stick to the pin. Oof. Getting killed by soldering pins or anything. Okay. me to foam this it's just that there's no back piece or anything so there's nothing to like kind of keep it down you can definitely foam it if that's what you want expired now. after all this build it is <laughs> in response or in for you, special experiment. I I don't know how long I was gonna delay this. Honestly, I knew it was gonna be short though. So I kind of just <laughs> okay. So switches are in. Boop 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 boop. Not the prettiest, but I'm vibing right now to Christmas songs. <laughs> Hot milk. Hot diggity dog. Yes. Okay, now comes this tr tricky part. Hold up. Hold up. This doesn't really fit. I gotta. Oh, jeez. This is terrible. There's definitely, okay, there's not enough clearance here with that, okay, if worse comes to worse, I will trim it, to, oh, oh, got it, alright, so if you guys are doing this like me, no hot swap, you can't just drop it in, because this piece kind of doesn't allow this for clearance, so what you gotta do is tilt it, get it into the, um, that recess first. Oh shoot. Then you line it up. And then you let that drop. And now it's good. But, alright. Yeah, I guess normally you would have already dropped it in, then you could just put that in. But, okay. Anyways, it's hard uh, soldering on top of this. The switch kind of just. rocking a baby to sleep. Okay, I try my best, guys. I try my best. No, by no means a soldering master. Oh, man, Jesus. Try not to melt the case. Yeah. Well, too late. <laughs> kind of already scuffed. Yeah, this soldering iron is a bit too bulky. I really have to come in like... Jeez. 
Milk already saw me burning the case and I was like, yo, chill out. Shoot. Please, ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I genuinely don't know how we're gonna do the rest of this case. Uh, rest of these pins. Solder iron too thick. I feel like if I did it, I would screw it up. Yeah, I don't know if you see it, but I already kind of scored some of this. Kind of melted away. Little dent here, you see that? Solder iron. Little side dent here. Solder iron. Yeah, it's just the angle is... Like, you kind of come in like a 45 degree angle sometimes, so this is sufficient enough to make contact with the, so the little solder pad and these little pins but here it's like I have to come in upright and there's too much components everywhere just is not working oh, okay I think that's in good thing the dents are at the bottom cause e yeah, boys is what we're looking at <laughs> Um, yeah, no, honestly, just taking it slow, I think. I think you'll do fine, though. Uh, I'm doing relatively fine, so you shouldn't be too far off. Oh. Uh, the cream boys. <laughs> It's kind of like melting the ones nearby. Oh, jeez. Shit. Just sticking onto the pin rather than going down into the. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Oof. I don't know if you guys can see this, but they are. They are going flowing down into the joint. All that flux, all that good, sh good stuff. You better call the camera to help catch it. Damn, that spitting flux just came at me. So far, so good. Everything is covered. The joints look good. Uh, four more on this side, and we are really good to go. This is going to be a little bit more, uh, really close to the legs of this little chip. So, uh, gotta be careful, I guess. Soldering fumes are getting to me. Okay. Oh, good. Looking pretty nice, the joints are pretty complete, so I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, that was old. That was a old scuff mark. Uh, when it doesn't work, change the angle, I guess. Oh, finally. 
Because literally once you hit the solder pad, once you hit the little solder pad, all the solder just gets like sucked down there. So if you're having a lot of issues like me about like cold joints, you're you're just not you're just not really and also it could be shitty iron, right? Maybe it, it doesn't heat up quite as evenly. Your soldering iron. So it's kind of a lot about testing, seeing whatever works for you. Also the thing with temperatures also, yeah. Very much trial and error. But yeah. Cold solder joints are not cute. <sighs> What's the recommended temp? So, I mean, I guess there's like the general error temp, but also right, a, a lot of it depends on whatever solder you're using. Right? Like let it solder, um, what's his face? Let it solder melts at a lower temp, but the uh, lead is toxic. Well, um, there's like lead free solder, but that definitely requires a much higher temperature to be able to make it flow nicely so like that's the risk right the higher the temperature the more easier it is to damage your components but uh, uh, this is leaded solder so nope this is leaded solder yeah that's why I definitely need my little trusty ASMR boy. But generally, I think if you go on Google, it's like 300 degrees Celsius. But it's all about like using it, finding the right ideal temperature with your own equipment, right? Because Google doesn't really know everything. And also, a lot of these soldering irons, sometimes they're wonky. Sometimes they're not that completely accurate. So it's, uh, it's all about trying it out for yourself, I think. It's the most important thing to find a good temperature that you like to work with. I think people generally go a little bit higher, maybe like 350-ish, just so it's very quick. If you just make the right contact, the solder will just go right in and you could just really sit within like three seconds. But um, I try to like skirt on like the lowest possible setting I can while still being like generally effective um, so right now f for my machine I'm sitting at like 330 to 325 is generally what I try to do when I build cables I, j I, I knock it down a little bit lower because I don't mind having the, sol um, the soldering iron come in contact with my cables for a little bit longer but for these things I, I crank it up just a little bit higher Speaking of which, I'm going to have a cable making stream probably sometime next week. What keycaps are you going to use? Ho, ho, ho. We shall see. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys would be interested in building cables, but I needed uh, just needed to rebuild the one. I had one at work and just oh, I kind of have it prepped never see cable making I'm going to make um, two different adapters a US one USB mini and a USB micro for some different keyboards I have I'm going to be make connecting them through this uh, ah, ah, this aviator cables so you can maintain one USB cable while just simply swapping the heads for a dip different adapters so that's what I was gonna do and I'm going to use a wire with this type of black white gray paracord I think it looks kind of nice but uh, the truth is that I had ordered another one in a green green white blackish colorway that I really like but uh, when I got the cable there are a lot of like kinks in it like the threading wasn't good so um, I decided I wanted to be happy with my cables, so I was going to go with this one. Oh, I already did one, and uh, I kind of put it away. I'll grab it. Hold up. 
Um, the only reason I have not done the cable making stream yet is because um, I did not get uh, my my heat shrink didn't come in the mail yet, and I I um, I needed to like protect my so I can't really put on I can't really continue with the make cable making process because you have to put the heat shrink on and all the things on before you do the other parts or else they won't fit and stuff so I was able to just do the USB end um, yeah it is uh, except for when <laughs> the, the wires are seriously so fucking small I got a, s a helping hand because I got, is it expensive to do yourself no hell no definitely not you can buy like I buy like 20 feet of wire on AliExpress for like 10, like 15 ish bucks. Uh, oh, I can show you. I uh, have a little toolbox that looks huge because it's just zoomed in. Alright, let me zoom out. Okay. And I just have all my little. I have a little. Oh, sorry, guys. I have uh, all my adapters in here. Yeah. Some white LEDs. These are your little micros. And the regular USB A. So I got some extra aviator cables because I was planning to build some for my friends. USB C. Yeah. So just. I mean, these are more obsolete now. Uh, mini and the micro. People are probably gravitating more towards USB-C now, but I still have some old cables. Oh yeah, this is, oops, sorry. This is the colorway I had wanted, but as you can see, it's like, it just fraying. The quality is pretty bad. I'm kind of upset, <laughs> but uh, there's nothing I could do. <laughs> this is an old purchase at this point. So yeah, this is my toolbox. More easily accessible tools are here, like the flush cut wire keycaps. Put them here, and then everything else I stack here. Uh, speaking of which, I'll probably put this in here. Especially got a new container with these latches so they don't fall out. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Oh, this is. Okay. I had intended hella prepared, yeah, it's like these adapters and stuff, they're just like 10 for like 1, 2, 3 dollars max. We hit a 1 hour stream pod. <laughs> I was thinking I was going to use the little smileys kit from KBT Cool Kids. <laughs> because... I think they kind of cute. The crazy one. OMG. Yes. <laughs> I knew I bought this little novelty kit for a reason. You hit the one there. Poggers. Cool kids pog. Yeah. Well, yeah. One thing I don't like about it though is that like. I mean, I guess how else can you do it? But like when you use the macro pad, my wires are coming in from this way, so I don't need to do this. So I got upside down milk. So they're gonna be crazy like you, expire. All right, what have we got, kids? What do you want? These are like row one, row two. What color do we want? Should we just keep it, keep it row one? That's like the escape row profile. How would that look? I think that would protrude. Yes, R1. Yes, so it'll pretty. It'll come up pretty tall, pretty high. Okay. What colors do you want, Milk? Since you're my only viewer, <laughs> let's check out who's in chat. Firms one, yellow, yellow, yellow on top, or what we got right now. Yellow looks cute with white. Both yellow? Is that what you want? Top. Good. <laughs> God damn it. 
Alright, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm slow, Grandma. Please. Please. Uh, yellow top and red bottom. Okay. Should have said something earlier. Okay, there's no there's no guarantee this will even work. I want you guys to know that. <laughs> I'm just I'm just joking, it's okay. It's okay. Stream delay I think. Yeah, for sure. I should I should also wait more. Alright, yellow top, red bottom. I hope you're happy with the choices you've made here today. Red is my favorite color, so Pog. Hey, red is a nice color. My favorite color is green. Double Pog. Okay. That's the end of that. Goodbye, cool kids. Say bye to cool kids, guys. Okay. Just gonna pack this away. Bye, cool kids. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pog, pog for expired milk. Bye, cool kids. Catch you next time. Oh my god, I sincerely, uh, I really do not know what I would use this oh. for. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Impulse purchase, 200%. <laughs> it was nice though. I don't know. It's nice. It's a fun novelty type of thing. I feel like maybe. I'll get a meme board or something. Oops. Sorry, I'm just trying to pack things away nicely. Okay, bye bye cool kids. Bye cool kids. Okay. That's alright. Not done yet. The anime girl keyboard thing? What do you mean? Magical girl? The What, what is it? What, what is it? What's that stuff called? Is that what you're talking about? Or is it that gross, that gross one? The not safe for work stuff. I see some of that anime not safe for work stuff on the gross one. Ugh, yeah. Nah, I do not vibe with that. <laughs> I don't know why people do that. But hey, to each their own thing. Your keyboard represents you. And that's, you know, that's fine by me. I forgot the name of the face. Oh, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with, like, those types of things. Is it, is it like a meme? Or, like, oh, you said it's cursed. She is nasty. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, I'm glad none of us knows what it is then. <laughs> I think it is. Oh, you think it's a meme? Oh, yeah. I don't. Oh, actually, I, not. I don't know. Who's the one that asked me if I was a weeb? I think they were. They would probably know. Was it not bad? I don't. I don't remember. It's either not bad or. F I think it's not bad. I think it's not bad. <laughs> Hold up. I'm just gonna toss this in the garbage can real quick. Yeah. Okay, I kind of spilled all those little, yeah, it was not bad. Yeah, that boy needs to chill. All right, so the only thing left over from this project is this. <laughs> all right, so. Oh. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, okay, all right, let's do this. Now it's time for programming. Yeah, sorry guys. Okay, and you best freaking bet, we're, we're gonna have Oh, end of macro. Tap enter at the end of macro. I don't know if that saved or not. Oh, that did not save. 
Okay. Alrighty doozy. How good is it? Let's get it. Boys and girls. Alrighty. Now we're just gonna do... Oh man. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so... Just gonna show it one, right? And then this is... <laughs> okay! I, I think that's it. Alright, let's get the Cyber Voyager boy out of here. So I could do a proper... I mean, I, yo, what do I do? It's like upside down. Ah, shit. <laughs> Program the button to end the world. <laughs> Alright, bud. Okay, let me open up Notepad. Do I have Notepad in here? God damn it. I don't have a source named Notepad. Okay. BRB, guys. Ugh, I'm sorry. The lighting really makes it terribly hard. Girl, you don't have notepad. No, no, no. I mean, I don't have the source. The source here. Expired milk. I got this. Yeah, I just have to add a source. Oh, here we go. Add source. Okay. Drink. Oh, wait. Drink milk. Drink milk. Drink milk. Excuse me? I think, all right, all right, I think we gotta, it was, ah, shit. I need to program this macro while, I don't know if it'll do a bug, cause um, it might confuse and detect. All right. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do, okay? Oh man, this got scuffed real quick. Oh, my ducky. Rubber ducky. All right, guys. This is what we're gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna hit with a drink. I'm gonna hit them with the milk. Here, I'm, I'm just gonna copy pasta this shit. Cause, God, why is life so hard? Yeah. Last time, my first build with the Maja, I plugged in my DZ and I plugged in the Maja, and that he shit went to hell. Cause Via was messing with both of them. And I honestly, oh, I don't have a keyboard to copy and paste. Yo, <sighs> I can't do this. I think Via's definitely gonna get confused. Oh, it's not. Okay. <laughs> honestly, dream come true. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, yeah. Oops, sorry, guys. This is a story time tab. Don't. <sighs> I hate myself. Why am I? Why do I? Why is this happening? All right. Oh. <laughs> okay, it worked. It worked. It worked, guys. Wait, is it swapped? Hold up. Whoa, it's so good. <laughs> Wait, hold up. So this should be drink, but why is that milk? Does it process it that it's upside down? That's interesting. Because via, oh gosh. Oh God, all right. Let's kill an old pad for a second. Because Mia, Apparently, this is drink, and this is milk. Which, should I swap these keycaps? Big brain creators. Oh, for what? For milk or for via? Because, yeah, both both big brains, actually. <laughs> Any keyboard creator, big brains. Okay, so that's interesting. It processes this as the top key, and this as the bottom key. All right, um, honestly, I don't know how to hold this anymore, but, okay. 
already. That's fine. Oh, this is enter save. This one, I do not want to enter. Hit me with the drink milk. So this is drink milk. Ah, cool. Now we want a space. Okay, hold up. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm messing y'all up. Drink space. <laughs> I'm trolling you guys. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the... Uh... <laughs> Alright, you guys. You guys ready? No pad, hello. Wow, uh, no pad completely just died. Alright, ready for this? Drink milk. Drink milk, drink milk. <laughs> okay. Time for a typing test, guys. I don't know if you're ready, but I sure am. <laughs> Let me unplug this for a sec. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm enjoying this way too much. Uh, just open a new window. What do you guys want? It doesn't matter either way at this point now. Because. <laughs> because it's just gonna spam drink milk. <laughs> so, ta da! This is the end product. Got to get a screen capture for the YouTube video. <laughs> uh, monkey types, is that alright for you guys? Oh, here we go. Sorry, a bit glitchy. I guess my computer is kind of slowly crashing. All this. Oh, did you guys know monkey type has merch now? That shit caught me off guard. I went on the site wanting to do a little typing test and then they're like, yo, we got merch. And I'm just like, what? You guys got merch now? <laughs> that wall of text shirt kind of killed me a little bit. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. <laughs> I like, I just like, if I wore that on the street, ugh, I don't even know what would happen. I think I would just die. I mean, uh, some, the merch is, it's cool, I guess. It's nice that there's a demand for that. <laughs> How to make this look good? I, I really don't know. Oh, wait, then it's swapped. It's drink milk, drink milk. All right. All right, we're doing the little oomy, zoomy, zoomy ins. Can't really see shit. It was so weird. It's interesting. It's interesting. All right. Uh, would it be better if I killed the light? Nope. Zoom. Is this better? Guys. <laughs> Alright. You guys ready? <laughs> yes, it's good. Yeah, bless. You get to see the yellow now. Awesome, awesome. Alright. Smiley, happy, 2% milk. Alrighty, let's get it. Time for you to listen to the modifiers. <laughs> a little bit of a closer sound. <laughs> now for like a handheld sound, so no desk vibration. <laughs> 412 words per minute. Somewhere I could wee when it's not, because when it's... Alright, 
Sorry, I just gotta listen to myself. <laughs> Maybe I should put little rubber bump ons on this. But yes, guys. That is the build for today. A nice little 2% milk macro pad from Keyhive. Uh, oh, let me. I guess if you guys even cared, because clearly y'all freaking don't. Alrighty, that's everything involved with today. We have. Oh, I didn't write what what key caps we put on because I wasn't sure yet until much much later on but these key caps are the smileys kit from uh, PBT cool kids e PBT cool kids props and um, yeah colors was chosen by expired milk because he liked the yellow oh zoom in he liked the yellow and the red and this little milk carton is very cute it just simply has a pro micro and uh, a dedicated uh, PCB build by the creators. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. But next stream, I am going to build a cable whenever my stuff comes in. Honestly, um, I ordered it last week from Zap Cables ordered heat shrink and some more wire from them but um it's it's been like processing for like good good five six days so whenever that decides to come also too i was hoping um taro was s supposed to arrive be delivered today but it got extended like a day or two and since this is a build at night i was really hoping i could show off or like just do an unboxing of GMK Taro R2 but uh, I guess it definitely will be here by next stream so if you are interested want to see GMK Taro unboxing and also me building uh, my uh, <laughs> custom DIY cable tune in next time most likely same time same day uh, probably a Monday over here, uh, New York. <laughs> I'm, not sure. I'm not sure what day it is uh, anywhere else, but. Expired Milk said such a good build. Yes, this was actually a really fun build. It should not take in this long. I, I trolled. I trolled. I trolled a bit on this. <laughs> it's kind of difficult, but. I'm, gonna, I'm considering getting a new soldering iron. This one has been with me for a while, and it's not really performing as well as I would like it to. But. Yes, now we got to find someone to raid. So, does anyone have anything they want to sh Anyone that they want to raid? Um, I can also go look into... Oh, shoot. Did not even mean to... Yes, raid time. <laughs> I try my best. I try my best. Yeah, it's kind of late. I'm not sure... Oh, wrong USB wire. This is a mess, man. Oop. Keep this little cutie over here. <laughs> uh, help me out, guys. Who shall we raid today? Raid time, raid time, raid time. Um, let me go on Twitch. Hello. Ooh, I kind of feel them acting up. It's not that responsive. Uh, oh, Lightning Keyboards is streaming. Andy is also streaming. Alright, they're all like humongous, so I don't even know. <laughs> I might get flamed if I, if I raid them. <laughs> Someone named Cookies or something? Are they in Makers? Makers and Crafting. Uh, mom, 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 mom. Scrolling. 
Is there a specific, like, uh, sort you guys do? To find people? Or... Yes. They have two viewers. Okay. I guess I will just look up cookies. I'm eating cookies or Chef Knight cookies? There's two people that are alive right now. Let me go check. Too bad I can't. I'm eating cookies, but I am hit with the ad. Are you kidding me? All right, they're both gaming right now. Okay, all righty. All right, I'm just copy pasting this. Okay, yep, they're live. Oh, yes. Oh, they're building a D65, a kangaroo switches, pog. What the hell? Yeah, I got you, experimental. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I got you, I got you. Okay, awesome. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I feel bad. I don't really have much viewers. This will kind of be a sad rate. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, let's get it. I'm gonna. Yep, makers and crafting. Start the raid. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much. What do we say in chat? How you doing? <laughs> what do you want to say in chat? <laughs> Expired milk's always coming up with like the punny stuff. I'm not big brain enough. All right, since they're cookies, we got a milk build. Um, cookies and milk, milk and cookies. <laughs> two viewers are ready to raid. Oh, two viewers. There's someone else aside from you expired milk. Holy, nice. Oh, hey. <laughs> I didn't know you were here. Can you bear to have milk and cookies? <laughs> so bad. No, nah, milk, that was good. It ain't too bad. I didn't know my mom was here. Hello. Hello, Barums. <laughs> Got a little lurker here. All right, what's with all these lurkers? My mom is here. Okay. I fell asleep. <laughs> oh, shoot. Wait, did the raid not go through? Ah, shoot. Let me do that again. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I chatted for too long. I chatted for too long. Oh, gosh. All right. It's okay, guys. We go. We go and just have fun, okay? Yo, Burms, you better hop on. You better hop on that raid. I redid it. I, I messed up. I think I timed out. <laughs> but yes, tune in next time, guys, for a wire build plus GMK Taro unboxing. All right. See you guys next time. Thanks, Expire Milk, for chatting with me. Really appreciate it. Have a good one, okay? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. See you next time. <laughs> There's a lot of... <laughs>